Welcome back. This is a video that will go over how to create your own program in the RT Toolbox 3 software. The assumption is that you already know how the program structure works. If you don't know how the program structure works, please see my video on that. Once you have created your workspace, go ahead and stay offline and you can double click on program. It will allow you to see all of the programs that have been created for this specific workspace and you can create a new one so we are going to call this lab 2 for no good reason it will create the program for you you can type your program content up here you can add points down here manually and so if I want to do a simple five point program, I could just start typing 10 for my line number. We're going to do a move. You'll notice as I type, it brings up this intelligent uh, preview of a command. It will go away eventually as you just saw, but as I go along, it will do its best to try to provide some assistance. And you can see all this information in here about what the options and the parameters that are available are for that specific command, um, as, as well as a description of the command. And we'll just type in here a little bit. So we have our program. You will notice up in the tabs, there are some options here. We are under the edit tab right now and it'll allow us to check our syntax. If there was a mistake in our syntax, it will come back with a list of the mistakes that are down at the bottom under the output. And it says uh, line 30, move S, P3, there's a syntax error. It is not helpful in the sense that it provides what the error is you will have to understand what it is yourself but at least it will show you where the mistake was so there we go there's a template option I've not personally played with that uh, but you can play with that if you want you can't hurt anything you can turn on and off comments under file we can save it under the tool this is not the robot tool necessarily this is tools within the software and one of the things that it allows me to do is to sort or renumber renumber is a really important and powerful tool within the software in that <clears throat> as I update and change my program there may be instances where I run out of numbers and and I need things to be done in a certain sequence and this will actually let me do that um, I can indicate how line pitch how many numbers between each number it lists uh, as discussed in how to write your program in the program program structure um, Mitsubishi requires line numbers in their programs at this point for the Melfa basic four um, and so you do have to have those numbers in there but it'll let you sort them. It'll let you, if you choose that option, you, it'll also let you update any go-to numbers uh, automatically. Generally, you're going to want to just say range all. You can leave it like that. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to only do it in steps of two. And you'll notice right now my program is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. After I click on OK and OK again, it will update those and so if I realize oh gee I need to add a command here um, hand close one oops and I want to do oh wait I'm out of space but we're gonna do this anyway we're gonna say delay 10 H open one delay whoops there you go delay 10 and so I've got two line numbers that are the same and two line numbers that have not been 
identified at all. And so if I were to do a syntax check on this, uh, it, it doesn't even really get to it. It says, hey, we got an overlap line, that's fine. Down here is, uh, there's no line number, there's no line number, this is overlap. So it's identified a bunch of problems. So I could come into tool, renumber, all 10, okay, tell it okay, tell it okay. And you'll notice it went ahead and fixed that. Uh, there is a problem here. We have a typo, so I'm going to fix that as well. But now, if we go to edit syntax, there are no syntax errors. Everything is happy. We no longer have that duplicate line number, and we have line numbers where we didn't before. I could potentially create my entire program, not worry about line numbers, and use that renumber tool to go ahead and number everything as I need to. There's no reason not to do that, but it is good to remember that you do have to have those line numbers in there. One of the things you'll note is that there are no points associated with this program at this point. In previous activities in class, I provided the program, there were already points defined. To add a point is nothing more than click on add and give it a name. The name does have to match what is up in your program. You could define the points as discussed in the other video as variables, but we can also define the points down here. And so point two, point three, point four, point five. I do also want to make note that the software and the controller is case insensitive. So it does not care if it's lowercase or capital move, lowercase or capital P. There is no distinction between the two of those. Because we are not online, you'll notice I do not have the get current position option here. But if you have been provided coordinates on where you need to be for certain points, so in, in a realistic solution, so in a realistic example, you would have a robot cell and you would know where the tooling is, you would know where the parts are going to be picked up and placed at, and so you could predefine those if you wanted to. These are, you'll notice XYZ, I could list it as joint as well, but generally you're going to want to do it as under the XYZ, and these are relative to the origin of the robot, so if I know my point one has to be at 56 point whatever, I can do that. And so depending on the type of robot that has been defined, I would also need to do ABC. And if you have auxiliary axes defined, you'd also need to include those. And finally, I can save my program. Okay, so that was a quick overview of how to use the editor for the RT Toolbox 3 software. That's all for now.